types of data graphs. So there are many ways to display your data with a graph, and we're going to look at five in particular. So the first one is going to be a dot plot. Okay, so it involves drawing a line with some numbers we could be analysing. Uh, how many pets do you have? So the number of people with one pet is represented with a dot. So there'd be one person. You might have three people that own two pets, two people that own three pets, three people that own four pets, and one person that owns five pets. And that's an example of a dot plot. Next we can have a column graph. Now, column graph, we could be looking at something like people's favorite colors. So we have numbers on the side this time. And we could have four people with the favorite color of red. Maybe two people with a favorite color of blue. And one person with the favorite color of green. And with the column graph, the columns are always separated by, by gaps. And altogether here, we've looked at seven people because there was four in this one, two in this one, and one in this one. So we've collected data on seven people. All right. The line graph is the next one. So a line graph is going to look something like this, where we might be looking at rainfall over every month. So January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, and December. It's going to be a bit more in the graph. And then up here, we're going to have numbers showing how much rainfall we get. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70. And each one of these is going to have a dot representing how it changes across every month. And then finally, a line that joins all those points together makes our line graph. And we mainly use a line graph when something changes over time and we can analyze the pattern that happens across those changes. All right, let's look at our fourth graph. A sector graph, which can also be called a pie chart. This involves the circle, and the circle is split up into sections. So we might be looking at something like favorite fruit, where over here we have apple, which we have 50% of people. And you can see it takes up half of the circle. Then we might have strawberry, 
Oops. Taking up 38%. Then we might have banana taking up 12%. And it's important in a sector graph that all the percentages have to add up to 100. All right, last one, divided bar graph. Divided bar graph is very similar to a sector graph or a pie chart, but instead of being a circle, it's one big bar. And then we split up the bar into pieces. So we could be looking at people's eye color here, where 70% of people have brown eyes, Twenty percent have green eyes, and ten percent have blue eyes. And again, the percentages have to add up to a hundred, and the amount of space that they take up represents the total length of the bar. So this length is seventy percent of the total length if this represented a hundred percent. Thank you.